Good morning and welcome back to the channel. My name is Deborah, Sun, aka the Sunset Girl Creates, and I want to welcome all the family back and say I'm looking forward to speaking with you today. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have to say about the project below in our comments. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, I'd like to know what are you doing to set up for Christmas, get ready for Christmas. Do you have any pre-Christmas um, traditions? Like me, my pre-Christmas uh, pre-decoration traditions are basically doing all of my ornaments and everything for my house. So I spend a month of November working on everything Christmas. So that's why you have Christmas week and Christmas week continued. Um, next week I'll be decorating. I have until Friday to get all my decorations done, so I've got to get hoofing. Um, I'm going to be making some ribbon out of these three ribbons and one more, but I can't find the one I'm looking for, so it's been it came up missing. Um, I always think maybe it was my kids that did it, but you know my kids didn't do it. They're not here anymore. Um, so I misplaced it somewhere. It's basically white and it has blue snowflakes on it. It's really pretty and I'm looking forward to making bows out of them. But today we're going to be working on our Christmas trees. Um, I don't know if we'll get through two of them, but we will definitely get through one. Um, I just spend time looking at them. I just went through them and I found one more thing. I'm just trying to clean up off it. Okay, um, and so let's get started. Let's get started. Come on, come into the show and let's get started on our Christmas tree decorations. I'm going to work on this one, put the other one aside for now. We are going to get started on this one. This is the purple one. Actually, I did purple for you yesterday. So I think I'm going to do the pink one today because you kind of have an idea of what the purple was yesterday. Um, so today I'm going to be using my purple beads. So I'm using the opposite color. Oh, it might help if I plug in my, I have to plug in my heat, uh, glue gun so that we can glue. And so we're going to, while this warms up, takes about two minutes to get good and warm and hot and ready for us to use. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and figure out, and I keep seeing all, I keep seeing this, it's just not laying right. Something is not cut right or something's not doing it. Um, I gotta fix that little corner. Looks like some of the pink glitter came up is what happened. So it doesn't go all the way to the edge. And this one had an extra cut, looks like. So you just, I really, I haven't looked, I look at them very closely just before I start decorating. And I did it before I started. Um, but I wanted to leave this one just so I could show you kind of what I do is I kind of just go through here, make sure that there's no extra cut somewhere that I can't see. Um, getting any glue off of what I can't see. So you'll see there's probably a little bit of tape, double-sided tape over here. Um, I clean off those little edges there. Um, they're not very seeable, so I don't worry too much because they're for my own personal use. If I was sending these to a client, these would be all cleaned up. And I don't say I leave a mess on my stuff. Um, it's if I miss one, I don't feel so bad when I see it later, right? That's pretty much what I mean. Um, and so I, I I just work hard and get this done. Currently, I don't sell anything. I'm just doing my YouTube. Um, I have a website, and it's the Sunset Girl Creates dot com. And I am fixing it now. It is going to be set up as a blog. So my blogs and my videos will go hand in hand. So whatever I'm working on to blog about that week, I'm also going to be doing the blog here on the channel. So that there's a video out there. People can click on it. I know some people um, learn by... 
watching things, doing things, reading things. So there's different ways that people learn and understand. And um, I think the written language, as much as I'm not a big fan of the written language, um, I think it's a good thing to have. Oh, here's a little star. So it's not my favorite, but I think it's important in life. Um, I was taught that at an early age. I had a grandmother that made sure everything was pronunciated properly and that I spoke clear, strong English. And so she taught me mega bunches. Let me see. Okay, we're good. So let's get started. And I'll just continue chit-chatting. Um, I've been thinking about, my mom asked me um, a question a couple weeks ago, and I got my mom for Mother's Day this year. Um, I got her story worth, and story worth is where you get to send questions every every week, and whoever it is writes a story based on that question. And so in the end, you have 52 stories that you get to hand down and you've wrote a book, right? You wrote a book about some of the things that's happened to you in the past and some of the good things. So you're basically writing an autobiography. Um, and I thought it would be a great thing for us to be able to hand down to all of my mother's great grandchildren. She has four of them. And um, as well as our children, my sisters and my children. So, um, that everybody has an opportunity to learn from my mom because my mom's bringing up a lot of things from the past, like questions we, I've been sending her all kinds of fun questions. Um, tell me about your first marriage. How did you get, what was your first proposal? You know, how, who, tell me about your mom, tell me about your dad. So I learned things about my grandparents even that I hadn't even realized and I hadn't heard those stories. So believe it or not, I'm hearing stories that I've never heard before my mom telling. Um, I never knew, I knew that she was married to my father, um, Keith Quinn, he is still alive. He lives in just outside of Tallahassee, Florida. Um, I do not have much communication with him. Um, I, I've been estranged from him most of my life. Um, I did go meet him for the first time about six years ago. And um, I decided it just wasn't a relationship that I chose to pursue at that time. Because I did that, it kind of blocked me from having a lot of communication with my brother. And um, so I really miss, I have a brother that's 10 years older and I've only seen and talked to him a couple times. And when I did go see my dad, I did go visit him. He was the one that I was contacting originally in the first place and the one that I actually wanted to be having the communication with. Um, we both agree to disagree. I see different, I see our father differently than he does. He was raised with him. All I know is what I saw and actions he had um, and what I've heard from both my mother and my father. Um, and I just, I couldn't, I'm sorry. It was just one of those things. I gave it a try. Um, he pushed me to some limits. I didn't prefer to be pushed. He didn't tell me the, all the truth. Um, he told me he gave me a, a plane ticket for one day and there was no plane ticket. I mean, it was the next day I went home. I wanted to go home on uh, New Year's Eve. I wanted to go on home the day before New Year's Eve, so I did not have to fly on New Year's Eve. Well, he didn't do as I asked, and I ended up staying there and having to fly home on New Year's Eve. And, you know, it's just little things like that. It's like, you know, I asked for certain things. There's reasons I asked for them. And if you're not willing to give them, then I'm not willing to take them. And I'm trying to decide if I want to wrap it around, go in here and across, or do I want to go here 
and like across down here, but I don't. I need it to go across here because then I'm going to go across from here to here and then there'll be one more down here on the bottom from here to here. So we want to make sure that we get it inside and connected to this star right in that area so that it folds over and hangs. So we're going to put this here and we're going to start. This is the star we were anchoring to. So we'll start by putting a piece of a, a dollop of hot glue. So yeah, that's just not a, a, a fun story that I like to relive a lot. Um, my parents got divorced when I was six. Um, I didn't realize, but they were married for 10 years or nine years. Um, I didn't know that they were married for that long. Um, when they got divorced, my mom got train tickets across the United States to come to my grandparents' house, um, who my grandfather and my grandmother were very, very big on helping my mother raise us until she married my stepdad. Um, my mom did not have to worry about us kids. She knew that us kids were taken care of and that we're taken to school and that we ate and she didn't have to worry. She could go to work and not worry about her children. And that's all my grandparents wanted, was my mom to not have to worry about us kids why she went to work. Because she had to go to work, because now she had to find a way to pay for us, right? She she had no place. She came all the way, drove, we rode a train all the way from, um, wow, North Carolina, Goldsboro, North Carolina. And I think my grandparents picked us up in... St. Lu San Luis Obispo or Pismo Beach, one of them. No, I think it was San Luis Obispo. I don't think that the train we were on came through along the coast. We took a train ride for four days. I mean, I so enjoyed those four days from what I can. I don't remember much. I remember going to the, the um, stopping in Washington, D.C., but at six, I didn't remember what we were talking about. Uh, that one doesn't look quite right. It needs to hang down a little bit lower. So I'm going to pop this off before it completely dries. And I'm going to move my dollop down to about here so that it hangs correctly. Um, I don't want it to hang wrong. I need to get a good dollop in here. There we go. Sorry about the camera. Um, my glue gun didn't want to grab. Okay, so I want it to stay at that angle, but I want it to be lower. So, now I plug that. See, and, and hot glue is gives you a lot of strings, so you, you have to clean up the strings when you're done. Um, they look like spider webs, so if you put them up the way they are, they'll look like spider webs. Okay, so now let's see how that looks before it dries. Oh, that's better. That's how we want it. I just want it to lay nicely and flat, okay? Um, they are going on my walls, so I need them to stay nice and pristine, correct? Um, so that's what I work on, is just trying to make sure that um, what I create and put together for my house stays good and looks nice. Okay, so I'm just right here trying to figure out where I want that to come in. Do I want to come in on this side over here, which will allow it to droop more. You know, we can adjust it. Or do we want it to come so it, it comes down right there? Um, I think that's too close. I think it needs to be down here. Do we put it here? There, that's a good connection spot right there at the top of that, that star. So see what I'm doing is I'm just basically holding it into place to see where I want it to go. Um, and so that I line it up properly. So now I can just flip it over. And I'm keeping my finger on this one because I needed to remember exactly where I needed it to go down. And so it needs to go over here and go down right about there. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, I keep it on my left hand, left side because that's where my... Um, um, that's where it's plugged in at. It can move all the way over to this side, which is fine. So let's see how that came out. Okay, that, 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 well, 
That's on the that's too low. It went, should have gone the other direction. Should have been this direction. Let me see if that's still hot enough to pull it in. Maybe. We'll put another dollop on it. How about that? Because it needs to come in under that. So now that I popped up like that, and I see that's why I don't like to move it right away. Because I need that glue to get a semi-dry dry on it before it um, connects. So I don't want to touch that now because I glued on top of it. And so I'm going to carefully... Sorry, I need a quick drink. Some of the medication I take for my fibromyalgia gives me um, cotton mouth. So I end up drinking a lot of fluids during the day. Okay, so that looks really good right there, right? Um, it's a nice, it's got a nice hang to a drape to it. And so I think we're good. I just want to make sure that I have it in a spot that I want it. Okay, so we're going to clip this. I like to try to clip it before I actually glue it. And the reason being is that it's harder to remove it. it it's, let, it's harder to break. And it, you know, it's harder. What is it? It it's it's harder to do it when there's wet glue, right? Because I know this is where I want it. It's not going anywhere else because this is where I told it I wanted it. So we're gonna let that set for a minute. This one's good. So we see that one's good, and you can kind of see to the side of that. So what I'm gonna do is see. There's a bulbous right here. That got built up and it's hanging over so all I'm gonna do is take my exacto knife and I'm gonna trim it so it doesn't remove from our balls from our string of garland right and I can do it while it's still somewhat warm it's not completely cured so it makes it easier for me to go in there and clean it up so the best if you have to clean up hot glue other than the strings it's best to do it while it's still warm before it completely hardens and sets. Okay, so I have this last little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's had a chance to dry now, so it's finger ready. And let's see how, oh, and that lays a lot better, doesn't it? It does. Okay, Um, our next one is we're going to lay one from right about here to kind of drape around here that'll hang down just below our packages. Right here, I found another spot, let me see. And oh, it's not gonna come off, is it? Where's the little exacto? Let me see if I can trim this, okay? I'm gonna show you, on here, there was an extra thing of, it was like a double cut, and when it cut, it cut just off by that eighth of an inch. And so the glitter part came off, but this back part didn't come off. So I'm going to carefully remove that white part so it's not on my piece. So that means you go very lightly when you're doing it. You don't want to go too deep, right? Because you don't want to cut the rest of your piece. You just want to cut very lightly to get that one white piece off. And if you did it, it should come off very nicely and easily. And there should not be a hole on the other side. So we'll test it to see if I actually accomplished it or not. Okay, so I see that it's not really pulling away yet. So let's do one more s soft pull through. You're going to pull through very softly. Make sure you stay on that line. Oops. Okay. It may be stuck because it's got glue on it. Okay. So, yeah, it does take a little time if you have something to clean up. Um, I like to just clean it up when I see it instead of waiting till later. Because once I decorate, I don't want to have to pull it out once I've got stuff already on it, right? So it's best to try to get this off. And what's, what it is, is it's got double-sided tape under it, just like the gold does. Um, so it, it comes off. You have to get it to come off, right? 
So it's a little surgery. It takes a little bit. Just keep keep going at it, right? It's almost there. And all I'm doing is kind of dragging it now because I want to make sure it comes off with all the tape. Um, and all I'm doing is pulling it. I'm not putting any pressure on it to where I'm going to go through the back part. So now you pull over. There is no mark on any. So if you use your Gazacto knife, just be careful. That's the only thing I recommend is to just be careful. So now I am going to see where we want to put this last one. Um, since I'm going to be start doing my own blogs, I probably won't be reading a lot from other people's blogs now. Um, we may still, until I get mine built up, I've got to sit and start writing. Um, so I need to have some time to write. So I'm figuring we're going to start that around the first of the year. It will probably be a first of the year project for us. I think that's good right there. Okay, let's trade it around. It's because I'm gonna flip it in a minute, I and mean, you'll see what I'm doing. So what I did is I gave myself extra room because I want to make sure I have these in the right spots to make sure that when I glue, I'm gluing it where it needs to go. So when I flip it, that was the 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 gold, but the purple was gonna come with me, and now I've got a whole mess, right? Hold on. It's got all kinds of places it can catch on to. You know? That's huge places to catch on to. Okay, so I'm going to flip it like this. And this one's going to be our first one. Make sure that this doesn't get in your glue. Um, you really don't want extra garland on it. Okay. And I just do a loop. That All I'm doing is trying to kill out as many of the... Uh, hot glue strings that come out so you got all these strings with hot glue and if you spin it like that sometimes it prevents more from happening so if you have a few it's okay but if you have more than a few it can be a little messy so let's see where we're at oh that looks good look didn't that look good so we just want to put one right here and let's go ahead and snip I snip one or two beads out just in case I need extra room to maneuver. And yes, this can be difficult to um, cut. So once we're done here, then we got some other fun stuff to do. Um, and so. So while we're sitting here, and I'm waiting for this glue to dry, and I have it all over my fingers. Oh, if anybody's interested, I do my own nails. I buy them in bulk, and they're, these were already purple iridescent. And I just ran a layer of glitter on top of it to give it that real nice iridescent look. Just little tidbits here and there, you know. I really just, it really just, I have to go with what it pull, what, what, what I feel. Because I have glitter nails and I have holographic nails and I have different kinds. So I have to decide what I'm in the mood for. And also, do I want to put drills on? Or do I want to put any rhinestones on them or anything? Yeah, I call them all drills now. Okay, I think we're dry now. Turning that milky white. And there we go. Oh, look at that. We've got all our garlands on now. See, we got the top one and all the way down. So our next thing we're going to do is we're going to find some presents, right? So this is the fun time. I get to pull out all the fun stuff to really make it pop and be fun, right? Um, I'll be photographing all of this for once it's up on the wall for my blog. So you'll be able to see it on the blog. I think I need it. Let's see. How many was the total on the last, on the big one? Um, I need five, nine. I don't need all those colors. I need a couple golds. And, oh, that's only two. 
I want another gold, and then I'm going to put the red in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't need that one. But I have to dig down here into the bottom to get to these bottom ones. And I bought these pre-made from Hobby Lobby. All of my accessories that I use today come from Hobby Lobby. Even my paper. Um, the glitter paper may have come from Amazon. But the pink cardstock all came from... Um, what was I just saying? I don't know. Oh, um, where's the craft place? Hobby Lobby. Oh, I got an interesting email today. I don't know if anybody's got this email yet or not. Um, but Amazon or Diamond Art Club now has paintings available on Amazon. Yeah, let me show you. I think this is pretty cool. You might have heard it somewhere else, but this is where I found it. Um, uh, no. Forgot. Let me bring up Amazon. So, um, I, I looked at it on my phone and not, um, I just put in Diamond Art Club into the search. And I go search and look. You have Diamond Art Club, Train of Dreams. You have Diamond Art Club, Snow White, Premium. And they're not bad prices. Look, at those are smaller ones, but they're $29 and $39. And here's this Mandy Manzano one, um, Undersea Dreaming. And so, it's kind of cool. Um, and if you just look, I think that's all that they... Oh, no, here's another one. Arula, this is the one. Mrs. Crochet and Coffee did that one. It turned out amazing. That one's by JoJo's Art. Um, and so I just kind of put Diamond Art Club, and that's what came up, right? So you can buy some of your Diamond Art Clubs that are available on Amazon. I thought that was pretty cool when I got that email. I thought I was someone special. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to line them up this way. And I put all the bows, so you see the bows on top. And that's how they lay best, right? And so you just have to make sure that you have a little spot to put some glue on for each one of them um, so that they'll stay. And it just takes a tad bit of glue, just a dollop of glue right there. And you can put that down. Okay, then you need a dollop of glue right here. And I am doing just a slight angle on it so I can catch that one. Okay, so there's three packages. Here's the fourth one. So we want to just lift that up for a second because we're going to probably put it right down here in the bottom. Okay, and then you have that one. And then we can put over here and let's put our little dollop right here. All right, and so we're going to capture this one. I think it might fit better this way. And we're going to capture that one right there. And then we have our two green ones to put out. So our Christmas trees have Christmas presents. All ready for Christmas. I really enjoy Christmas. My blog will start right after the first of the year. Um, sooner, if I can get it all set up sooner, I will. I already have the domain. The, it, the domain, our website, once I go live, will be the Sunset Girl Creates at www.thesunsetgirlcreates.com and so that's our website there'll be blogs on it shortly I'm going to write some um, start writing here after Thanksgiving and I think I'm going to do a blog on all of my Christmas decorations because I can pull stills right out of um, right out of the the movie. Um, so wait a minute. Uh, I'm so touched. So I'm stuck. 
Oh, we had a little glue over here, I see. But it's not anything we need to worry about because you can't see it under the package, okay? I only worry about the hot glue if I can't see it on the package. It doesn't get into anything else or hurt anything else, so I don't typically worry about it. Um, this one, since it's gold, is going to get silver bells. So we'll do white, red, and green. Okay? And so how I set my bells up, my bells go kind of, uh, bells go in the middle, right? I'm just looking at the other one of how I did it. Yeah, the bells go right down here and hang over here. Um, so what I do is I take some of this upholstery th thread it's a it's a, it's a lot like um fishing wire if you don't have upholstery thread um if you've got fishing wire um you can use if you have embroidery floss you can use that um what other kind of things can you use um just as long as it's small enough to go through the hole right so I just kind of slide it in there. I usually put bells on my dogs each year. My dog, dad, my husband hates it. He thinks I'm being cruel to my animals. I'm not. It's fun to watch the big dog freak out. They don't last very long on the dogs. They both figure out. They, last year they both figured out how to get them off. Little brats. They're not. Actually, they're really good dogs. Um, I don't usually have too many issues with my dogs. They're well-trained. You tell them, you can let them out my back door and direct them right into the backyard without having to um, worry about my dogs. They are well-behaved. They don't... Now, mostly, okay? I'm not saying they are dogs. And, uh, the little girl, Trixie P, she's a little stubborn. She thinks she's her own person and can do whatever she wants when she wants. So sometimes I have to ride herd on her. Okay, there. So now I've got those all through. And all I do is I just spin. And, oh, yep, see, it didn't work. If I get it right, I can spin and roll and pull my finger out and I have a knot okay and that's all I need to do that's for one I'm gonna do the same for the white and the silver so I need to cut a piece of upholstery thread it's really thick thread so it's really tight it's not gonna come apart it's similar to what you would get if you put fishing line on it okay so it's the same kind of concept as fishing line, but it's upholstery thread. So it's stuff you use when you're doing upholstery on furniture. Um, my parents dabbled in, in upholstery at one point, so I know lots about that too. Um, my family, my dad was a woodworker. He loved doing woodworking. He made us our, um, made me the crib for my my son when he was born to be carried across through the family and I don't know where it's at now my my daughter lost it I'm really upset with her over it um, that was supposed to be a family thing that we could pass down through the generations so all of our all of my grandkids and great grandkids and all that would have it. Um, my son Ryan had it. My grandson Ryan used it. I don't think Eliza, Eliza may have, but the babies didn't get to use it because she had lost it by then. My daughter, my daughter can lose. I don't know everything. I think in her head if it's not attached. Okay, so my bells are not wanting to tie for some reason, and they keep falling off the string. And we're working fine the last two days. Today they decided they don't want to work. Okay, now I lost my thread. Okay, here we go. Um, okay. 
I can get them in the hole. I was getting it to tie. I don't know why it's not tying. It's not doing it. Okay. I'm going to do it one more time. And there's in there. Okay, and you put it through the next one. And get the string. And before it falls out, grab the other string. Bingo, bango, boingo. Okay, so if I can't get it to work that way, sometimes I do this and just do a couple knots around. And then I'll tie it around this way and do another knot around here. And pull that through. Come on, come on, come on. Where'd you go? Oh, man. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got these done. I went ahead and did bo both of the other two off camera. So we're going to go ahead and decide where we want to put them. Now, I think the best way would be to have them come under here. Because I want them to hang just below the garland. So I'm going to put this under the garland, the string, and I'm going to go through that hole of that star, okay? If I can get both the strings to go through today. There's one. And there's two. They want to be difficult. I'll take care of them the hard way. We'll just grab them like this. Okay, and I want these ones more on around the middle. No, these ones go on the end. So we're going to put them just around on the back side of this straw, this star right there. So I'm going to leave it right there so I can flip it and fish it through, okay? And no, it didn't work. <sighs> Actually, this one we could probably just put around the star. It doesn't necessarily. We can just do it like that. So they lay it like that, okay? So now we would just want to put our string down and we're going to glue on top of the string. So we don't have to press the string into the glue. So we want to make sure that we leave enough tail for them to dangle, but we need to make sure that they secure as well. So we're going to do a nice dollop right there and make sure we get them in there okay so now we have a nice dollop there and I'll trim the rest I want to do one more little squeeze over so that it has a nice solid hold because those bells are somewhat heavy and so what we're going to do is these these this parts easy to trim away And all I'm doing is trimming what string is hanging over and trying, making sure that I don't hit and tear my paper, right? Come on. Okay. So see, that's one of those strings that I love so much. Okay. So now let's see how they hang. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Get a nice clean hang. Yep. Just like that. So, but I think I might want to pull this back. Yeah, see, it's it's got glue all over it. Son of a bumblebee. Okay. Okay. So... I'm going to finish these up and we'll get finished with our video. Um, I'm going to finish it this afternoon. Um, I see that we're already at our, is it 30 or 40 minutes? Um, oh, I forgot I stopped. Um, 
So I think we're close to our time. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the video today. If you enjoyed this video, um, it's, it's, um, if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be great. If not, a thumbs down is fine. If you want to become part of the Sunset Girl Creates family, we would love to have you and call you family from now on, right? Because we're all a big family who just meets on the internet and we get to craft together. And crafting makes family wonderful. Um, and then if you want to know every time I upload a video, all you have to is hit that bell icon. I'll let you know every time I upload a video. So with that said... I want to wish you the warmest, awesome Wednesday possible, and have a great day. Bye-bye.